On a scale of one to ten, about loving my job, I'd probably scope it ten. We're currently lifting organic carrots uh, to be taken to Yaxley Produce World, which will then be sent to Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Tesco's, um, all around the country within 24 hours. I know a lot of people probably think that you need a farming background to get into agriculture, but that's not true. I haven't come from a farming background. thought I'd never be able to get into farming because of that. And I, I see an apprenticeship advertised uh, by Sainsbury's and two months later, I was, I was working for Taylor Grown. You have to be fairly good at maths. Also, understanding computers as well, because as you might be able to see inside the tractor today, you know, I've got a, an eight inch monitor and everything is controlled through that. And with GPS, we have it on RTK systems. It's accurate within two centimeters. That's another trailer full and on its way to the grader in our yard to be put into the bulker and then be sent off to the factory to be washed, packed and uh, sent to the supermarkets. I'm Molly Seller and I work on a dairy farm. My job is to basically look after the young stock. I got really good A-levels, A um, which I could have gone to university with. However, I chose to not do that route because I didn't feel that I wanted to be in education any longer, sitting at a desk and learning that way. I wanted to be out working and doing what I love doing. By doing an apprenticeship, I get to work here four days a week and on the fifth day, I go to Eastern Lotley College for a day there. And then at the end of two years, I get a recognised qualification out of it. There's a lot of technical things that go into looking after these cows. We have to measure everything they do, all their feed that they eat, all their activity. We use the computer, which also links in with what they're doing. We use every bit of technology we can to make sure that all these cows are healthy and are living at the best that they can be. New life, born just while I've been talking to you. Hello, I'm Emma Kelcher and I look after the technical side of growing all these fantastic vegetables. What do I love about my technical job in agriculture? It's interesting, it's different, there's a lot of variety, I get to see the whole supply chain, my office is the great outdoors and it's really good fun. Now another part of my job is to see what our yield will be and do some quality inspections. Within fresh produce, quality is everything, and it's really important that I get my job top quality to ensure that we get the right produce to our customers at the right time, and in order for us as consumers to enjoy them on our plates. I'm Matt Redman, and I run a farming and agricultural contracting business. When I started five years ago, it was just myself, and now we're running four full-time people with the, the view to take on another full-time sprayer operator. My route into doing what I'm doing now was uh, to take a degree in agriculture and mechanisation at Harper Adams, which was sort of a half engineering, half agricultural degree. I went to work for a neighbouring farmer to where we are now um, as their sort of farm foreman, so I was sort of responsible for the day-to-day -day running of their arable unit. And I, I always knew I wanted to work for myself, so spraying sort of seemed the obvious choice. I managed to scope together a deposit for a self-propelled sprayer and sort of took the risk and the leap from there, really. You need to have a, a good work ethic and, and a drive to, to know what you want to do. The technology side of things is going to be massive openings for different services as technology from other industries comes to farming and, and needs people to, to take it on. Every day is different. There's so many different parameters that vary day to day, week to week, year to year, that actually your mind is constantly fed. 
Understanding biology is uh, plant biology, plant physiology, chemistry, basic maths is really important and helps in the job as well. From college or university via a degree or through apprenticeships uh, or other work type uh, based um, inductions and experiences. The main thing is that you really need to have good practical background and a good grounding in what you're doing. See as many different businesses as you can. School visits to farms, college visits to farms. Uh, if you get the opportunity to go to a farm open day is always really good value. If you can pick up work experience on farms, so school summer holidays, college summer holidays are always really good value. The biggest thing for somebody looking to come into a, a role at a technical level, for me it's all about uh, attitude. You've got to be self-motivated, you've got to be driven you've got to be prepared to stick at it. You know, farming is not, uh, it's not an easy job, it's not a nine to five job, it's not five days a week. If the weather's right, we have to be out there. You know, we have a responsibility to produce food for the nation. We love it, but you've really got to buy into it. So for me, looking to add people to our team, it's aptitude, self-motivation is, is really important for us. There are plenty of farms around the UK, not just in East Anglia, that are looking for people just like yourself. My final bit of advice would be just go and do it. It's such a good career and there's a lot of different career paths within agriculture. Thank you.